Hey y'all say y'all, peace and Palestine test sticks. It's your girl Devali Lika and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. I ain't channeled in a few days, y'all. And I ain't gonna lie. I've you know, I still been posting shorts and stuff, but I was so excited when I sat down, like really getting myself ready to channel. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm really excited. That's how I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Cause the excitement was so real. It was so real. Um so y'all, I, fe I found out what my big three is. <laughs> Ain't no big three, baby. It's the big me. It's like, no. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, Taurus rising. I know somebody lying. I know somebody lying. Thinking I needed a double Gemini in my, in my big three. And I ain't coming for Gemini, but God damn. Can't make a decision to save my soul as it is. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. I feel like it plays a big part into my love life as well. Imagine how hard it is to date when you got all that Gemini in your chart. I mean, anybody else? Is there anybody else who's a Gemini sun and a Gemini moon? Or do you know anybody? Do you like anybody who's a Gemini sun and moon? Like, let me know. And you would think because I have like Gemini as my big two, I mean, in my, in my top three, that I would be more of a social butterfly, but I'm not. I actually get really bad so social anxiety. So it's just interesting. Like, I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy. It was, it was not a, you know, it wasn't like the best discovery. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> Anywho, let's get into this energy. I was sitting here and I'm like, what's going on with the collective? Like, what's tea? So, I'm like, I might as well pull from what's the tea. Since I want to know what's tea, what's going on? I ain't talked to y'all, I ain't channeled. I mean, golly. All right. Divine spirit gods, angels, ancestors, and family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the Divine Collective. Clear and accurate messages for the Divine Collective. What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic or evil eye being sent my way or to the way of my platform, I ask that you return it back to sender, magnified and bonded to them. Any dark magic being sent to the Divine Collective. Ask that you rem uh, return it back to sender magnified and bonded to them. Protect and cover me as I channel these messages. And allow for me to tap into or to channel from the highest, most authentic version of myself and not from a place of ego. Any dark magic. Oh, see. Wait. Y'all, let me get my prayer all messed up. <laughs> protect my crown chakras and get these messages across. And protect and open up my third eye chakra so that I can dive deeper into my intuition to get further clarification of the cards that come out today. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. So how's everybody feeling? We just had, what, full moon in Scorpio. And that's where we're at right now. The moon is in Scorpio. And it just makes me think deep intensity. Like, I don't know. Well, let's see what's going on here. All right, uh, spirit guys. Oh. It says dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protect, prote protected by haters. Mm. So you are her dodging bullets collective. You might have had somebody from the, you know, with it being a retrograde. You could have had somebody from the past or somebody that maybe you don't have the best memories tied to trying to resurface themselves and your energy. Um, you know, somebody could have just been dodging a bullet for maybe some type because you know, lessons come up in during retrograde. You know, if there's something that you struggle with, you have a particular what the fuck am I shuffling for again? You have a particular uh, trigger or something that you're um, struggling with or trying to work through. Those tests come up. 
doing retrogrades. They really do. All right. And it says ego, her ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. Mm. So I'm getting like, hmm. I'm getting like two energies here when I see that. It's like giving me a feeling like somebody is in regret for letting their ego get in, get in the way of maybe a connection, a friendship, or something. And then I'm also getting is that you could have hurt somebody's ego by maybe not wanting to deal with them or not wanting this person to be a part of your energy. <sighs> not wanting this person. Oh, everything is coming out so easy, like just so quick. It's not giving me no time to shuffle through it. It's just like coming out. It says moving. Tell me more spirit about this energy. Tell me more spirit about this energy. Oh, that shit. It says spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, power. Yeah. So your spirituality could actually be, mm -hmm, could be absolutely bruising somebody's ego or maybe, because um, one thing is about it, it's like when you're enlightened and like you're doing, you're doing the shadow work and like really doing the shadow work is you just putting a light, a light, a flashlight on different things that maybe you need to heal and work on. Well, I feel like maybe you doing that is triggering somebody else. It's almost like when you do certain type of shadow work and inner work, it's like almost like putting a flashlight on on this on the shadow work that other people need to do as well. So somebody. Oh, you know what I just got too? Oh, moving on. Thank you. Next. Yeah. What I just got as well is um. This could be like a situation where um, it's almost like somebody has moved away from their ego and into their light. Tell me more spirit. <laughs> yeah, fig figured up. Figured that. It says once you back. And then it says dust it off. What does this mean? I and like every time I see this card, I really don't know how to interpret it dust it off hmm. tell me more spirit it's like somebody wants you back but your energy is very much so thank you next i'm doing what's more aligned with my higher self my spiritual path um and for some of you, you just feel like you actually attaching yourself to this person is kind of putting you in harm's way. And I'm not going to say like physically, like literal danger, but maybe just like distractions or in a negative place in and in a mental, energetic place that just doesn't serve you. Somebody doesn't want that anymore. Inside scoop, a closer look, nosy up in your business. Oh, wow. So why did I just see like somebody, <laughs> it's real weird, but like it's giving me like peeping Tom soccer vibes. Like maybe somebody's like looking through like a, and I'm only saying that because I got dusted off first and I wasn't really sure how to interpret dusted off, but it's almost like somebody, like I can't see clear enough. Let me look, I got to clear, like wipe my telescope off or something so I can get a better look at what's going on with collective. 
whoever plays this part, whoever plays this role in this energy, I'm just saying all of my readings are timeless and they are general. So do not force anything to fit. Take what, res take what resonates to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. So, tell me more spirit about this. I've never got this uh, combination of cards. That's interesting. Tell me more spirit. It says crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. I don't know, collective. <laughs> like, somebody is sick. Tell me more, spirit. Giving money. Somebody could be paying somebody to spy on you. Or to try to get like paying somebody to get like some type of inside scoop on you. What the <laughs> wow. Fake smiles and running. From, for, to me, it's like, this is you running away from this energy. Like, oh, you know what I just seen? <laughs> you know what I just seen with this giving money and fake smiles? There could be somebody who who's like close to you, acquaintance, acquaintance, whatever it may be, work associate, whatever, whatever, that is accepting some type of money from a past person or somebody who who is no longer allowed in your energy is giving this person money to see what's going on with you. And in order for this person to be close enough to you to try to get some type of information or whatever, they got to be in your face, fake smiling, acting like they, you know, like they really like you or something when they don't, or it's just not real. It's not genuine. What is this? Okay, there could be like somebody. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting this from, but somebody who like maybe jogs through your neighborhood. Like they try to make it seem like, oh, they're just running or they're just doing their little workout. But they're actually like somebody who's spying for somebody else. That can be that's very specific. For the rest of you, this is just you running away from this connection or this energy. Tell me more, Spirit. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm like, what is this? Tell me more. Okay. Says Sean, your light irritates their demons. Yeah. I knew it. I'm like, whatever inner work or something you're doing, it's really like making somebody uncomfortable. Or it's triggering somebody else because they they haven't done the work or they refuse to do the work. Or maybe this is somebody who was in your energy who you used to probably tell them, like, yo, your ego. Like, you're really operating from a place of ego. Like, and really, you, like... You could have been someone who's went through an ego death, but maybe whoever this person is, whether it be romantic or platonic, didn't actually didn't want to, you know, do any inner work. And it's like for you, it's like you doing internal work was very important and you prioritized it. And now, you know, more than likely when you start doing that internal work, because, you know, I've had people in my energy who I've had to cut off because it's like we're just going in two different two different directions. Like I'm outgrowing you. Um... You know, it just, it, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's, it's no hard feelings, no love loss. I still got love for you. How, however, you're just not aligned with where I'm going. And, um, you know, you get to doing that. And sometimes it can rub people the wrong way. 
some people can start feeling like you think of you better than then or whatever well regardless of it what, what, I, what I was trying to get at was you start doing this inner work and once you start doing your internal work I'm sorry but your external world starts to be a reflection of your internal world so you could actually somebody could actually be seeing especially because they they stay inside scoop and they definitely watching you they're definitely watching you so if you're you've been if you've been receiving any type of monetary success um you know financial success in your love life or just being you know just peace within your personal life this person is seeing that and it's maybe starting to make them do some reflecting like what the fuck like Then we got child services, kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something, neglect, abuse. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is, but I know they need to take their attention off of you and start worried about their daggone kids. Yeah, somebody's witnessing a lot. Oh, I just heard something that's real fucked up. Okay. Then we have Boss Daddy, stable, rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Just me trying to understand where child services is coming from. There could be somebody who may try to make some type of false claim or accusation about whoever this boss daddy is and your energy. Rather, you're the boss daddy or you have that coming into your energy. Somebody could be trying to make some type of false report about... And they're going to get bad karma for it. But somebody could be trying to make some type of false report or something. But like tied to your, uh, <laughs> tied to your, your, whoever this new person is who's coming in your energy or somebody who's already in your energy possibly. It says haunted memories, flashback, trauma, side effects, and then photo proof came out. It came up upside down. So getting evidence. Somebody is trying to get some type of evidence or something. Somebody, you could have somebody coming in your energy because somebody's definitely hating. Your light is irritating somebody's demons. Somebody hates on your spirituality, your spirituality, your light, your magic, your your ability to manifest based off of you just doing inner work. Like it's crazy how people can really hate on. Like, do you know how much somebody got to go through? Like, how, how challenging life has to be to really push you to be like, yo, I got to do some internal work. Like, it, it, it's like people be jealous over the wrong shit. Like, you could be jealous over my life. You could be jealous over the success. But baby, do you know what I had to go through to get here? The challenges, the, the battles that I had to fight. You know, them ch those chosen ones, those earth angels, star seeds, and things of that nature, we get tested. We absolutely get tested in ways that maybe some people wouldn't even be able to fathom or even get, make, make themselves, get themselves out of. You know? Yeah, so somebody's trying to get some type of photo proof about something. I don't even, I don't even freaking know. <laughs> Or somebody could have already did it. Grudge holder. Somebody is pissed. Somebody is pissed. There is somebody who is not, uh, who's no longer in your energy. And for some of you, this could have been somebody, this didn't necessarily have to be a situation where somebody wronged you. Their ego was just in the way of the, their, uh, of this connection. If you're, if you're dealing with somebody and they're operating, whether this be friendship or even a romantic you're dealing with somebody and they're operating from from their ego, but you are trying to operate from the highest version of yourself. You're trying to you're going through an ego death. And mind you, ego doesn't go anywhere. I don't care. Like, even though they say ego death, it doesn't mean your ego actually dies. I think what really happens is it's almost like you just you're able to identify your ego versus your higher self. You're able to balance the two. You're able to not let your ego run your fucking life, you know? What the hell? Somebody spending time holding grudges when quite frankly, <laughs> quite frankly, yeah, some an offer. And this is what got somebody crying 
over sad, hurt, upset, etc. Because maybe they've tried to come back in with an offer and you was like, eh, I'm cool. I'd rather see you. I, I'm cool. Thank you. Next. What else is going on out here? Like, you know? Mm -mm. Tell me more, Spirit. I'm about to wrap it up with this deck and move on to something different. Somebody really good is coming into your energy, and I really love to see that. Spirit, please point me to the deck that you want me to channel from next. Because I don't even know where I'm going from here. Girl fight tried to come out. It then tried to come out twice. So there could be somebody ready to tussle about somebody trying to come in with an offer. Like, yeah. <laughs> Lord, say what you want, but don't you dare try to put a finger on me. I'm going to beat your ass. And I mean that. I'm I'm a lover. I'm really a lover. I'm not a fighter. However, <laughs> don't you come over here trying to disturb my peace or put your hands on me. Mm -mm, don't you do it. I don't start nothing, but I will for certainly finish it. I'm going to end up beating your ass in the physical. And then my ancestors going to end up beating your ass in the, in, in the spiritual. Don't you do it. So I don't know, y'all. Collective. <laughs> Somebody could be wanting to fight about an offer. <laughs> about an offer. Somebody trying to give you an offer. Arguments. Physical fight at war competing. Or this could be somebody fighting with somebody else. It may not be somebody trying to want, want, want wanting to next necessarily fight you, but fighting with somebody else about the fact that they want to bring you some type of offer. Mm. This is giving me X X vibes. X vibes dealing with they dealing with the karma that that, that that's owed to them, quite frankly. to say move in silence yeah you probably should you know keep things a little bit more private right now especially with with like you know somebody is like really trying to get some type of inside scoop on you i wouldn't help them you know i wouldn't help them i wouldn't have conversations with people about anything personal that i don't really have a very close relationship with i'll just be careful Mm. This ain't good. Anything else, Spirit? Bad karma. Yep. Yep. That, that, that one flew out first it was just on the back of the deck yeah somebody is getting bad karma because they, they 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 spending too much time like hating on you quite frankly and even spirits that it's played the hell out it's played out let it go let it go all you're doing is racking up bad karma because you want to see somebody else suffer or you want to see some, I don't know. And and what's the reason? My thing is, what is your reasoning? Ain't it crazy how people will like, will almost like, I don't really know what this situation is. I don't know if this is like an ex, if this is a friend or. <laughs> we got karmic friends right here. But this is a friend or what. But it's just, ain't it so amazing how people will be upset with you for wanting to raise your vibration or to choose to to rewrite your story the way you want to rewrite it like there's too many times i see like you know people don't get famous or they're just or they'll get in a place where they're just you know a lot financially well off they don't look like where they came from anymore you know they made those changes you know, first internally and then physically. And then people will start to fall. Oh, you switching up. Oh, you getting different. Why do people hate, like, we all got the same 24 hours. Don't be mad at me because of what the hell I choose to do with mine. Because quite frankly, there's enough for us all to win. 
we all are the creators of our own reality. You have the power to do the same. But it's, instead of people being inspired, they want to hate. And then for some of you, it's like, it's like, oh, they want to change now and they want to walk this spiritual path and raise their vibration and no longer operate from their ego or their, their, their unhealed, the unhealed version of themselves. Oh, they want to raise their vibration. But I remember when you used to do X, Y, Z or this, that, and the third, like somebody is hoping that they can find something that's, that's going to conflict, that's going to conflict with whoever it is that you're trying to be. And quite frankly, I'm the right person to do that too because because I don't, I've never, I don't claim to be all love and light. Yin and yang, du there's duality in everything. I'm a Gemini, I know about duality. <laughs> so my whole thing is people think because you take on this spiritual path that this means that I'm like righteous and I'm holier than, than thou and I just walk this straight and narrow path absolutely not and quite frankly that's not what a spirit that's not what spirituality looks like spirituality looks like actually being in your shadow side sometimes because too much of anything is bad if you're loving light all the time you're unbalanced if you're operating from your shadow all the time you're in balance it's about being able to balance the two and not let either either or really rule or rule your life sometimes you can't operate from love and light Cause you gotta stand for something. Sometimes you, sometimes I gotta get into my shadow. I gotta be more aggressive. I gotta be more. Who the fuck is you talking to? You got, you understand what I'm saying? And that's what people got misconstrued. Spiritual, spiritual. Me being spiritual don't mean I, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. And that don't mean try me. You have a great, you know, you have a greater awareness of, of like, you know, of you're more self-aware. I feel like once you, once you start doing that shadow work, you're so much more self-aware. Like I can tell when my ego made a decision or this. That's why it's, I don't struggle with apologizing. Not like I used to. <laughs> I've got a lot better with apologizing, but like in my relationships and stuff like that, like there were times where I can go back and I'm like, you know what? That response was definitely my ego. Because the reality of the situation, that was a defense mechanism. Like, I can tell when I'm on a defensive, my ego. You know, your ego is which is like your armor, your shield. You get what I'm saying? So when I respond certain ways, and I know it's not coming from an authentic place. I'm like, no, that's 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 the that's the unhealed version of myself. That's the ego in me speaking i can't seem like i care more than you because that's gonna make me look weak like little shit like this little stuff like that that i'll catch and i'm like that's not me you feel i feel everything deeply so if i'm acting like i don't care that's my ego that ain't me that's not my higher self you get what i'm saying so i don't know but anyway whatever dirt dick and somebody's doing the shit's getting played out it's giving obsessed. It's giving stalker. It's giving fan. Number one. It's giving fan. <laughs> it's giving fan, collector. What's this? Mm. All right, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going from here because I am lost. Mm -hmm. I am lost in the sauce. I have so many cards though. Hmm. Y'all. What do I want to do next? Spirit, help me. <laughs> Point it out to me, Spirit. Point it out. Sorry, y'all. Give me a, a moment, please. I, I didn't mean for the, I didn't. Oh, here, cool. I want to use these. I haven't used these in a while. Okay. I found what I want to do. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's see. 
The vast spirit guys, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. <laughs> Please be clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. What is it that their higher self wants them to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that their higher self wants them to hear and know the most at this time? Spirit said, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're keep doing what you're doing. For some of you, whoever this person is, they could be this could be something you're not even aware of. For some of you, you are aware of it. For some of you, whatever grudge that somebody is holding, it's brought itself to your doorstep, to your into your energy field, whatever it may be. But I promise you, it ain't nothing but a test. Somebody wants to pull you back to a place you used to be. Just to be able to say, see, see. I told you he ain't changed. I told you she ain't changed. That, that shit's a front. <laughs> y'all better stop thinking like these people, like pe y'all better stop thinking spirituality means somebody is just love and light and walks in the upright all the time. You can't heal your shadow side if you don't embrace it. To be able to identify and embrace that thing. Like embrace it so you can heal it and you can work through it. So to sit there and think I'm going to be loving light all the time. Absolutely not. And quite frankly even like even in certain instances. And I said this in one of my readings. Like you know our thing could be like you know because you're trying to be in a certain type of energy. You avoid certain things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I will say this. Sometimes trigger. I don't know. I just I, I really enjoy a trigger sometimes. Not in the moment. I be pissed. <laughs> or hurt or sad whatever the trigger may be tied to or linked to you know but when i finally get time to reflect i'm like if there's no trigger how do you even how do you even know what to heal it's like the triggers i look at triggers it's like your workout you get what i'm saying when you go to the gym if you're trying to build muscle you're trying to you know you're trying to get in shape this is physically and the same goes on the energetic and the spiritual level if I'm working out and I'm doing these different exercises, it's to build strength. It's to build endurance. It's to build whatever, you know? If the same goes for triggers. Those triggers, that's how, like, you have to be triggered. That's, like, that's your training. That's your that's your workout regimen. You get what I'm saying? So look at it like that. But understand, you know, new levels, new devils. So for, for those of you who have, you know, you are... You know, you're you're walking away from your ego. You're trying to operate from the, from the highest version of yourself. You will be tested along the way. Just don't look at just don't look at what's happening. It's like, damn, I'm changing now. I got all this negative shit happening. That's not. It's just test. New levels, new devils. It's a part of the process. It really is. All right, spirit. Some advice. What is it that the divine collectives higher self wants them to hear? And know the most at this time. What is it that the divine collective's higher self wants them to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences that could be messages across and protect my space. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'll say, I'll say, and I'll say. I'm like excited to use these. I haven't used these in a while. It says choice you have been you're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with it's time to decide which path you're going to take listen to your intuition eliminate everyone else's input and feel your way into the choice that is right for you the time is now yeah, for some of you, you could be having a situation. I mean, and it, it that gives me retrograde energy because it's like there's certain things that come around to try to test you. Have you grown from where you were this time last year, or or or, 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 or can I can I knock you off your pivot? It's like a choice. It's like a choice. And for some of you between like, you know, being in this, like, you know, operating from your ego or being in this place.
or being in this place where you're um where you know you're you're operating from your light, your magic, your power. It's like almost like a choice between the two. This is this shit was coming up last time. This was coming up last time. And I feel like for you, like while you're while you're in this process, you're making this choice. For some of you, you know, you're gonna be tested. You're gonna get a lot of people who are really who will really in, who's really gonna encourage you to go back to your old ways, to go back to operating from your ego or a lower frequency. Like, cause that's what makes other people come. It may it, it may make certain people who used to be in your energy more comfortable. Shit, even I've realized that. Like, you know, I've even realized that in my journey because you know. You know, I'm in, I work in the nightlife. Like, I'm a, I bartend, I'm, I manage a bar. So, I'm in the nightlife a lot. And I notice it's like, I don't have support. I don't get the support on those those times where it's like, I'm not drinking. I'm fasting right now. There's There ain't no alcohol. I'm cool. Like, I just, you know, I'm done working. No, I don't want to stick around or whatever. I, I want to go home. I need to be in my space. I need to whatever, whatever. I don't get encouragement for that. Like, nobody's applauding me or rooting me on for those decisions but the days that i want to operate from shadow and have a drink or you know party and turn up oh they love it people i got i got all the i got all the support in the world to do shit like that and this is what it's like it's what it's like I'm not going to lower. It's like it's giving me this energy like almost like somebody wants you to to choose the 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 version where you're lowering your frequency because it's going to make it makes it's a it's it's easier for their ego to handle. Ain't that some shit? It says jump in. You're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align in just the right way. Sometimes you have to take that leap anyway. This is the time. His spirit has said the time is now on the choice card, and now this is now this is the time. It's like make that choice. It's time. Like I'm trying to take you up, but I can't take you up in the energy that you were in. You gotta leave some things behind. Why is, I don't like with my cards. I don't like when my cards come out like that, but whatever. Okay, so it says align. You're you're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it's not easy to do so. Trust that there is much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, trust. It's like surrender to the process. I'm going to be honest, like those beginning stages of the spiritual journey, like... It's a little hard. It can be, it can absolutely be a little challenging. And it's like, it's like you're making a change and it's a drastic change normally. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> when you go through these spiritual awakenings and things like that, there's a big change that happens. And I think the part that is just like, makes it hard for people it's like okay i know i need to move into a direction but to where to do what it's unknown you know and i think that's the part that what people struggle with with like going back to like going back to just vibrating how they were vibrating which is damn near impossible it's so hard to do it it just doesn't sit well in your spirit because like once you're awake it's hard to go back to sleep um but it's like you know, sticking to operating how you've been operating, well, you know what that looks like. It's safe. It's like your safety net where it's like, okay, now all this is changing. Any spiritual awakening, you lose stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> Friends, a lot of stuff. It just goes with it Um, normally. I'm not going to say for everybody, you know, situations can vary person to person, but a lot changes and it's like, where am I going? Like, it's just like, sometimes you just don't know what your next whatever is. And 
you know, spiritual, like, you know, your spiritual path is all about walking, you know, walking by faith, trusting that the universe and your ancestors and your spirit guides got your back. As long as you're doing what's best for you, that's in alignment with the highest version of yourself. I don't know. Tell me more spirit. Why keep coming out like that? Bravery. It says you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear, which is understandable. But you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision. And you will feel so much lighter when you do. For some of you, this is a work environment. Some of you are like contemplating walking away from your job. Some of you are contemplating leaving a relationship behind, a friend group behind, a lip. I say, say that living situation. Yeah. It says receive. You're being asked to be open to receiving universal gifts. These could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open to them. The bravery. Because I'm going to tell you, y'all, like, when I really made the decision to walk away from my 9 to 5, based off of, like, if I had to base things off of, like, how society views things or the people around me, it's like, that sounds fucking crazy. You're going to leave your 9 to 5 to read cards? And then, mind you, you got to think the mass majority of people that are even around me don't even look at this as, like, witchcraft or like devil's work like there's so many misconceptions when it comes to you know readers meanwhile like you know there's anyway there's just so many misconceptions um so i didn't have anybody <laughs> rooting for me you know uh, at the you know my ex at the time you know he's very uh you know he was kind of a deep thinker or whatever so he got it you know he kind of understood it but I didn't have, like, this big support group. I think to a lot of people, it didn't make sense. It just seemed like, you know, I was walking away from money to do something that showed no promise to bring me good results. But guess what? I jumped in anyway. <laughs> I, I just jumped in anyway. And quite frankly... My abundance, the the what I started to receive, it didn't just come from reading. It came from so many different sources. All I knew is that I was financially doing better and not working as hard. Like I used to bust my ass and really not be the most happy to make money. Now my mindset is so different. It's like, I don't have to work hard to make money, period. Like, I, nobody, I'm not going to go back and forth with anybody. If you have to work hard to make money, if you say that you have to work hard to make money, then you are going to work hard to make money. You know, the, the universe responds to energy and your thoughts and your feelings. And I feel, I know that, you know, I'm an alchemist. I'm a master manifester. I don't have to bust my ass for anything. I just have to let my spirit lead me. So for you, it takes so, you know, it, it, it's going to take a lot of bravery to walk away from what you know, to walk towards what you don't know. You're literally being led by faith, but I promise you the universe blesses you for that, for having that bravery for you. Because to me, that's the first step of breaking out of the matrix. It's being brave enough to say this shit don't align with me no more. Like whatever this program, routine, whatever, this is not working for me. And you know where it's coming from? You think it, it, it's, it's your soul speaking to you. And you actually hearing it and tapping into this don't work no more. Like this, this, whatever, this just ain't gonna work for me no more. Just hits you. And then you start to make these changes and the universe will reward you for it. Period. Point blank. I'm not going back and forth. I, I don't. That's it. Like that. Just just period. <laughs> the universe reward the universe rewards you for that. Rather, it's coming from the universe, your ancestors. What it's you. You get rewarded for making that choice. To break into stepping out of your comfort zone. 
and using a bravery to to to, to not let your e your your ego lead you anymore, despite of what it may look like to other people. This is nice. This is nice. Well, collective, this has been your. Did I want to stop here? Yeah, I'm gonna stop here, y'all. All right, collective, this has been your reading. Um, if this resonated any ways, please like, comment, subscribe. It is just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to the channel. But until next time, I love y'all so, 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 so much. And peace out.